What's going on? We are here with NBA 2K Mobile, No Money Spent, Episode 4. We have been grinding this account, playing Gauntlet, my favorite event, and I am so glad that I decided to do that because check out the squad now. So we did some crafting for sure, but if you look, we got our first reward, which is Lonzo Ball, and we were able to get the set items to get Halloween LeBron James which was so crucial in bringing up my team's power. We went ahead and crafted Richard Hamilton. We got a Gauskas from the draft board and we got Horace Grant as well, which allows us to have the 100% style bonus for Gauntlet. So when we got that Horace and that Gauskas, along with all of the items, it was enough to get LeBron James. So I definitely recommend grinding the event because we got Horace Grant and the Gauskas from the draft boards. Now, as far as the crafting, if you got some collectibles from playing mini domination, I would definitely recommend crafting Richard Hamilton. That way you have your shooting guard for the event. You don't need to craft Russell Westbrook, even though it is a very good choice, but because you're getting Lonzo Ball as your first reward for Gauntlet, it doesn't make sense to make another point guard, especially since Lonzo is pretty decent as well. Like if you look at Lonzo stats, they're really good. And he is pretty elite in this game. Um, very underrated. But just like in the NBA, you know, he progressed to be one of the top point guards. And this it's definitely evident in NBA 2K Mobile as well. So as far as the our grind, one Halloween collectible. We're, we just got the second one right now. We'll claim it. We're working on getting Carmelo. What my goal is, is to get that fourth Halloween collectible along with the two collectibles there. So that can go ahead and craft, check this out. So two things could happen, right? Once I get the, the Halloween collectibles, I'll be able to craft Amari Stoudemire, which is gonna be great for my squad. And then if I can get some more collectibles from Gauntlet and from Fantasy Finals, then I can craft Dwayne Wade since I got 27 Sapphire Rings. As far as the season push, we are in the last season before we can get up to Ruby. So once we finish that, which we should be able to, right? I kind of stopped grinding seasons a little bit. I was simulating a lot so I could get more Sapphire players. Because what I was trying to do is raise my team power. This is another thing that is very important. I tell everybody, don't claim your rewards until the end of the month. Our rewards have drastically changed from bronze, silver, gold, emerald, sapphire, ruby to where now I got my team power high enough to where I can get my first Amethyst card. Now I got two more days to grind. I really wanna to try to get my power to like, I think it's 2250 in order to get two Amethysts on the daily login. I gotta double check that, but if I'm able to do that, right, I'm gonna to need to craft a few more players. I gotta get through Ruby Seasons to get a few other players for my team. Like we got, Larry Nance Jr. from the draft board. So that really helped out big time. Another great player that you guys can craft to to help your power go up is Danny Granger. This guy is a gem. If he comes out as an amethyst, he's going to be super elite. Very good gameplay, really good stats, good shooter. As far as Sapphire players, you know, we got Ben Simmons, so he was carrying me for a little bit. DeAndre Ayton is a good center as well. As far as my main center, it's still Kevin Love from the most improved. I told you he's one of my favorite centers in this game. Real good stats, great stretch shooter. So that's who I'm still using. So now that we got that LeBron James, let's jump into some gameplay in the gauntlet. So we'll be able to show you some whole time heroes gameplay. Lonzo Ball. Some Halloween Richard Hamilton and some Halloween LeBron James. It's really, really good cards to have on the squad right now. Thought Curry was gonna make that. Brian's kind of open, but so is Lonzo. He's got such a sweet release in this game. 
and I'm out. I'm gonna lock them up. But very important, man. Make sure your team is about a couple hundred power in the last two matchups. Because it gets difficult. And you really cannot make any mistakes. You gotta be super careful. Goes Hamilton. Strong into the lane. Lines with that core vision. And the defense. Let's go. Banging on Shaq. Ah, he took too long. Ron wide open. He got those. Don't give the king that type of range. All right, we're looking good. We should be able to win this match. Can we get another strip? Good defense from Horace. LeBron's going to go for it again? I don't know. Let's see. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. I thought I was going to get that beautiful dime there. All good. We still got the lead and we outscored them too. So we'll be able to get the extra points. Top of the key. <laughs> Wild and out right there. All right. So we got the victory there. On to the next quarter. And that's the big one too, right? Because the whole point is to get that streak bonus. To get the big bone, you know, extra 1500, I believe it is, for um, the second tier. So we're on the last game. If we do win it, we'll get that extra 1250, which is going to be really clutch. But in the comments, let me know what hometown hero players you have on your squad. And let me know how your gauntlet grind is going. This is one of my favorite events, and it's going to be really good for those that need solid players in your squad. Especially when you can get the LeBron James set completed. It's definitely a W, right? So I appreciate all the support everyone's been showing on the channel. Shown on the channel. We might have some NBA 2K22 content this weekend. If we do, then I will definitely be dropping on Sunday. So definitely check out for that. All right. So again, appreciate it. Catch everyone next one. Peace out.